It seems that most of the RVs have these overhead storage bins above their bed. And I have had things in there for the last, you know, a few years, and I keep moving them around, but I've decided it's so inaccessible to me that I am going to actually use this area for storage of my winter and summer clothing. So I am going to take today to do decluttering in the bedroom because I'm preparing for something that is really exciting to me. I'm going to do a bit of a bedroom makeover and share that with you on Sunday. So the first thing I need to do is get all of this just basically junk out of those two cupboard spaces. Now, the third one is Bob's. And I've shared with you before that I respect his <laughs> pack rat clutter desires. And I have to leave those alone, even though I'm the opposite in that area. So I'm going to leave his space. I'm going to clean my space out and get it ready to reorganize and declutter my bedroom storage. Now here I'm using the Mrs. Myers Compassion Daily Cleaner. And again, one of the reasons I love to use this is because the fragrance is light, but it is very pleasing and it kind of lingers in the room a little bit. So it's another way to make your home smell delicious when you're cleaning. And between the open windows for the fresh air and the cleaning fragrance, there's just a really light fragrance that actually lingers in the bedroom. When it comes to a multi-step decluttering project, you really have to think through what it is you want to accomplish and the process you're going to go through to get the results you really want. Now, one of the things we all know about living in an RV, especially when you're working to declutter an RV, is when you create an empty space, you need to put what's going to go in there before you start doing another part of the process. Because otherwise, you're just going to be overwhelmed with everything that is out in this situation on the bed. So what I'm going to do first is set these things aside, even though I really want to get in and reorganize and declutter them. Because what's going to go in that empty space above the bed now are my summer clothes. Because it's getting a little colder in the mountains now. And it's time to get those a little bit warmer pieces out and get prepared for the snow. That's going to be coming inevitably next month. So step one of my process here is going to be to get all of my winter clothes that I have had stored underneath our bed out and sorted. I have a heavier bedspread that is going to go to the laundry today. And I am actually changing the location of where I'm going to store my seasonal clothing because it's getting harder for me to lift this bed up. We have a really nice mattress on there. And because of that, it has made the bed much more heavy. There is one group of clothing that I do keep under the bed unless it really becomes necessary to take them out. And that is my big, heavy wool coat. And I only use it primarily when we have an event where I'm dressing up. And that's the other bag of clothes that I kind of keep in there. I keep a set of the black formal attire. So a really nice dress, dress pants, a jacket, and other kinds of things that if I have a really dressy event to go to, if I have a funeral to go to, those kinds of things, then I have the appropriate attire. But I don't need to clutter my closet with those things. I also have a few heavy jackets that are still stored in here. And they're going to stay in here until I declutter where they go in the garage for the winter. So in this step, it's primarily all about just getting all of the packing cubes that I had my winter clothes stored in out and ready to go through and sort. The process that I go through in unpacking these cubes, especially for winter, because you always seem to have either more clothes for winter or more bulkier clothes for winter. So here I'm unpacking sweaters. And what I am doing is I am going to be starting my sorting process. And for me, it's sweaters I'm definitely going to keep and the dressier and long sweaters that need to be hung up. And then I've got dressy blouses in there that also need to be hung up. And just a quick note, I always wash these things before I pack them away. But they do become quite wrinkled in the 
packing process and staying there for, you know, uh, six months or whatever. So by taking these out and hanging them up, the wrinkles will fall out after a short period of time. And for those that don't, I use the Downy Spray Wrinkle Release, and that seems to work as well. The next batch was a little bag of miscellaneous kinds of things. It held some leggings, some flannel, sweatshirts, and turtlenecks. And again, each one of these kind of has their pile depending on where they're going to be stored in the closet. And phase three now is to take out the summer clothes, making room for the fall clothes, getting them hung up so that I have room to really then reorganize the rest of the seasonal change. One of the most important aspects of this phase is going through each one of these pieces of clothing and deciding if, did I wear them? Did I wear them at all this summer? And if I didn't, did I wear them last summer? And if I didn't, those are two really good cues that it's time to gift them, trash them, whatever they need to do. So one of the piles that I'm making here is a donation pile. So there's one pair of pants in particular I've worn for the last couple of years. They are definitely going to Goodwill. Now all of these clothes are being folded as nicely as I can fold them and they will be stored in the packing cubes that I had the winter clothes packed in. So I want to make sure that they are folded in such a way that we know it's going to wrinkle, but let's try to utilize it in such a way that it um, is a benefit, not a hindrance to the clothing. When you're going through this type of process, you actually have two opportunities to think through are you going to keep and are you going to actually use this piece of clothing? The first time happens when you take it out and you go, oh, I didn't really wear that. And the second time is when you're hanging it up and you can say to yourself, did I wear this last winter? Do I want to think about it for, for upcoming winters? And just plant that seed in your mind. Now for the rest of the clothes, I am putting them in places, kind of a holding spot. Because once I get through with the this summer packing, I'm actually going to be reorganizing some of the closet because of lessons that I learned last year. So for instance, I really had a hard time with my sweaters last winter. You don't want to wash them every time you take them off, but there needs to be a place to put them. That You don't want to hang them up. One, they take up too much room. And secondly, they get all stretched out. So I've got a solution that you'll see in a little bit that I'm going to use that I'm going to try out for this winter. In the meantime, I'm going to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing both from the ottoman that's at the end of our bed and in our shoe containers that are alongside of the bed. Now this is one of my favorite purchases that we've had for the full five years. It's a little ottoman that's a great little storage area and it is the right size to slide under our bed and allow Izzy to be able to jump on it and then jump on our bed to get on there safely. So in this ottoman, I had stored some extra coats. I've got some shoes. I've got some summer towels, just a variety of things. And so what I did was I really decluttered. I took the coats out. I took the towel out. I've got a place for both of those to go now. There are some old shoes that I am getting rid of. There are some winter shoes that I'm storing, and my boots were in there. It's easy to accumulate more shoes than you need because you forget that they're even under there. So periodically I do go through it. In this case, I got rid of an extra pair of flip-flops I don't need. And I put this rug down alongside my bed because it gets really cold on these floors in the winter time. So by curving it up the side and underneath the shoe bag, it allows me to really insulate that part of the room and it's not so cold when I get out of bed. I also bought one of these canvas organizers to organize your tops. It really looks like it's saving me space. I've got two of them. So at a later date, I'm actually going to organize a few more of my things and turn them lengthwise instead of widthwise and see if I can't get two of them in that space. So here's the solution I told you about that I was looking forward to, to put my sweaters in and my jeans, and there's a couple little drawers here. So I decided that I'm gonna use this, the little drawers, for my heavy socks for this winter time. 
So that's what I'm kind of dumping into here right now. And I'm doing this to kind of show you, and I'm going to do some more organization um, at a later date. But the reason I'm doing this, I'm so excited, is because not only do I want to get things situated and ready for winter, but surprise, I'm going to do a bedroom makeover. And you're going to get to see this in the next episode on Sunday. Um, I am going to be wallpapering two of the walls. I've got new pillows. I've got new rugs. And I do think it's just going to give the whole bedroom a whole updated look, a more, a brighter look. And it's just going to be something I really think I'm going to enjoy. So this is the peak of, you know, just what it's going to look like as I organize it more. And you'll see the finished product on Sunday. And I really hope you're going to like how it turns out. Hey, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And would you do me a big favor? If you like this video, would you like and subscribe? Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.